feedback. Uh, I was asked to build a dragon. Here I was, uh, you know, teaching uh, a course here, a course there, the way one does just before you get your PhD. And then Somerville had its first open studios. And you got some balloons and you opened up your house and people came in. There we go. I have a show um, at the Higgins Army Museum, uh, which is all about a professor. He was the curator of curiosities at the museum, and then he said, I'm going to go walk about. I'll be back. And of course, he hasn't been seen since. But boxes and crates still keep coming to the museum with all sorts of wondrous things. And I suddenly thought, well, how cool to make a giant iron domed habitat for some sort of a creature, mythical creature. It's definitely going to need eyes started looking like a giant crab. Spray adhesive, spray adhesives. I think I do funny and whimsical because I loved the visceral reaction of my children going, that's cool. I think the way I approached this last show has been as an academic first, uh, and then trying to solve the problems as I went along, the, the visual problems. Uh, the shoes of Sisyphus, for instance. I mean, what kind of heavy-duty sandals would you need to, to push a rock up and down for all eternity? The sculpture thing is entirely different. It's saying, I don't know, and I'll let it happen. I still go wrong way more than I go right. It's been a wonderful ride so far, and I seem to be getting better at what I do. So I must be on the right track.